One of the cool things about using the Teal Job Tracker is that you have job descriptions with every job. And if you're using a spreadsheet or an Airtable or a Notion, pulling in the job descriptions is quite a bit of extra work. And I really recommend that you do it because they can change and it gives you something you can keep going back to. So let me show you how the Teal Job Tracker manages that. When you go into a particular job, you have the JD here. So we use these kind of panes, that these panels that expand and collapse. And so the summary is the job description. And when you bookmark a job, the full job description comes in, but we synthesize it with AI so that it's always consistent. A little blurb about the job, the job responsibilities, and the requirements. And if I come over to this next job, you can see, you, know, you go down to your tabs, no matter what stage it's in, you always go to the summary uh, tab and you'll see you got about the job, responsibilities, requirements, and preferred qualifications. Those are the four main sections. If we don't find it, we don't summarize it. But if you want to go to the original job description, you can click this toggle here, and you can see the original JD as it was brought in. Now, in the adding jobs uh, module, I talked about how to add jobs into the job tracker, but to make it extra, just in case you didn't get that one yet, when you come over to any of the job boards and you use the extension and you do save job, even though the job description is not in the extension, when you go over back to the job tracker, you can see that it pulled it in for you. And by default, it's using the JD, the, the job description as it was found on the job board or how you entered it. But then you'll see that we synthesized it with AI and that's free. We do that for every job you bookmark. And there you go. And then in the synthesized job description, and the reason we do that is because we pull out things like the benefits that might have keywords that could be non-helpful. So that's what we use to show the keywords. And keywords are also used in the resume builder to help you match and make sure you've got the right coverage. But I think when it comes to job tracking, it's a nice way to quickly see what matters in this job. And when you click them, you can highlight them. You can turn them off if they're distracting, uh, but if you wanna see where they are, you can click the individual keywords and see where those show up. I'll do a full in-depth uh, review of the keywords in the Job Tracker Teal Plus module, because that's where you really unlock all the keywords. You have the hard skills, the soft skills, and uh, any other skills that we'd identify in the job description. But for free, you get the top five hard skills. And I think hard skills are generally you know, especially more IC positions, what companies are looking for. So it should give you some sense of what matters. And that's also in the extension. For any job, you can see the top five hard skills. These are by quantity. Quantity does not show up in the resume builder because we don't want to encourage any kind of keyword stuffing in your resume. You want to mainly show coverage. But I think when you're looking at a job in the job tracker, it does give you a sense of like density and, and what matters to the company if they're saying the word a lot. So then you have it here. So that's how you get the keywords in the job, uh, in the tracker, and that's the job description and how you store it. And the cool thing is, is as you go from job to job, they're all always in the same structure. About the company, responsibilities, requirements. You know, about the company, responsibilities, requirements, and then preferred qualifications if we find it. All right, that's how you get job descriptions in the job tracker and how they're summarized and how you can get back to the original job description text if you need it.